Well, here I am, still down this old basement. She told me to get rid of them bottles, and that's what I've been doing. Nine down and one to go. Pull the cork out of it and pour it down the sink. Goodbye, old friend. We're going to miss you around here. Hey, just a minute. Something's wrong here. This doggone sink's running over. Well, no wonder. Dang thing's full of water. Fire water, that is. Oh, you know some. I forgot to pull the stopper out of the sink. Well, I'll just have to reach my hand down there and pull it out. Ooh, that feels good. Burns a little. Ouch. Burns a lot. Well, pull it out, John boy. What do you know? No fingers. <laughs> Done gone and drawed back a stub. Now, how am I ever going to get that old stopper out of there? I guess I'll have to dive down there and get it. Dive to the bud, a man never come up. <laughs> That's what old Tex sings. Whatever happened to him, anyway? <laughs> Oh, I know how to empty this old sink. I'll just take these 10 empty bottles here and fill them back up again. She finds out she'll pour me down this sink. You know, you know I think I'll go up there and get her out of that old bed. Up the stairs we go, open the door. Good morning, little darling. I carried out your instructions. I poured them all down the sink. Don't y'all tell her I filled them back up again, you know. Hey, why don't you get out of that old bed, little darling, and fix us some breakfast? Just a minute. There's that brand new pair of shoes I've been looking for. Right there under the bed. Hmm. Looks like I'm still wearing them. I know, what. I'll fix the breakfast. I'll make me some ham and eggs. And for you, little darling, I'll fix you some of your favorite waffles. Ham and eggs and waffles coming up. And you under there. What'll you have? <laughs> <laughs>